Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today we're going to do an unboxing of the Erin Condren Life Planner, the binder edition. And we're going to also set it all up so you can see what comes with your binder. And I'll also show you some kind of additional items that I bought to go in there as well. In terms of a bit of a comparison for size, this is my standard life planner. And this is the size of the binder so you can see the binder is a little bit taller a little bit wider as well but and also a little bit thicker so we're gonna have a look at everything that comes with this and then we're gonna set it up so this here is the sapphire life planner binder and this is what it looks like inside it just comes with a little bit of cardboard and stuff to keep it all nice and secure so let's get that taken out so you can see this is the kind of ring system that they're using and in terms of what actually comes with the binder itself included in the price you get um, four different packs of your different months of the year so it's separated into three months at a time and we'll have a look at in a second at exactly what's covered in there. You also get a little pack like this so this is similar um, as to what comes at the back of a standard life planner and i'm just going to show you uh, exactly what we're getting in here so you are still getting the little kind of welcome pack that they do include in all of your life planner purchases so it includes some gift labels and you also get compliments cards and these are the three compliment cards which you get included there. You also get a little sticker that you can stick on the spine of your binder to put the year on or whatever you want. And you also get 20% off your next purchase with Erin Condren, one for you and one for a friend. So that's pretty standard in all of the Erin Condren life planners that you can buy. You also get a ruler, just like the one that you get in a life planner. You also get the perpetual calendar, which is just this little book. It's got all dates and stuff at the back of holidays, space for important uh, passwords, contacts, and all the months of the year. So you can um, write down any kind of contacts or birthdays or just keep it as a like what happened to me on this day type thing. You also get um, some different sheets that come in the standard life on the two. So you get one of the vellum covers you also get the stickers as well, and these are the ones that are included with this particular version. This is the 2020 binder. The 2021 binder releases pretty soon, actually, but this should hopefully give you a bit of a clue about how, how the binder works before deciding if that's the way you want to go for 2021. You've also got your little pockets-based um, thing as well at the back. So I'll just show you how these go in. So they've got the holes um, done exactly the same as they would in a life planner. And then they've just kind of devised these rings so that you just literally poke them through, which is really good because you can actually take spare pages and things out of your life planner and actually put them um, in one of these binders. So if you wanted to uncoil your uh, life planner, you could put the pages in here. So if that's gonna work better for you, you could just buy a binder um, and perhaps look at doing something like that. If you are new to Erin Condren, or if you think you're gonna be getting a new life planner that's coming out soon, or indeed anything from the Erin Condren website, I will put a link under the video. And if you use that to sign up for your first Erin Condren account, they will email you $10 off your first purchase. And that's valid regardless of where in the world you reside. So I'm in the UK and I still get to um, take advantage of discounts like that. So definitely check that out if you are going to be going ahead and buying anything from Erin Condren. So each um, three months comes like this with a piece of card at the back just to keep it all together. Um, it starts off at the beginning with the whole this is my life. Um, so if I was to set this up as a life planner would be. We would put the vellum cover right there at the front. Then we would put the daily life planner page. And then it goes in as usual with a life planner with your monthly tab with the calendar actually directly on the back and it then goes into daily planning and then at the end of a month you get 
a couple of pages like this, then you're into your next month. So this is slightly more difficult when you're trying to do quite a few pages at once, but it's, as long as you get it lined up, it's fairly simple. So for now, I'm just gonna put three months in and the other packs that come with it are all exactly the same and still include that front cover. So if you do want to just have three months in there at a time to sort of save on your weight and your space, you can, or it will um, take all of them. But if you have all of them, it's obviously gonna be fairly packed out. Um, so let's just start with that and I'm going to show you some accessories and stuff I got um, to go with this and also I'm just going to show you the quality of the paper and also um, how easy it is to kind of write when it's in the binder and whether it needs to come out because I think they're all kind of important considerations when you go in for something like this. So first of all we'll write on this first page and then you can kind of see um, how it works, whether it shows through. I'm going to use these new pens which they've just recently launched. They're basically like an interchangeable pen. So it comes with a barrel like this and then you have lots of different options that you can screw in uh, and then it's secure when you've done that. And they're all different thicknesses so they have pens like this which is um, the fine nib which is what I'll probably use to write on this with. They also have highlighters like this one in a variety of colors, and they also have a thicker writing pen like that as well. So for me, I'm right-handed, and this is how I would kind of put my name and stuff on here. I tend to write my telephone number on there as well, so that if I were to misplace this, uh, hopefully somebody would contact me and then I could uh, get it back. So that's it in the fine tip pen. And if I just turn that over, doesn't seem like you can see anything at all coming through, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll actually use the thicker pen Um, so it's not too difficult. I'm, like I said, right-handed. It seems like I would be able to uh, write on these pages. I mean, when you start getting to this kind of point, you're obviously going to run out of room and you have to consider pulling out the pages, um, writing on them and then putting them back in. In fact, let's write on one of these pages, then it should be a little bit um, clearer here. Hopefully this way it will kind of show you, because this would obviously be more one of the pages you'll like to be writing on. So hopefully it will show you how um, you would do that and whether, like I said, there's any bleed through. So if I just turn this over like this, and it seems pretty okay. So just to recap again with the pages, each page is following the colourway of that particular month. So this is January, um, and it's got the whole hourlet kind of thing going on. So it goes from 6 a.m. all the way up to 9 p.m. And then it has a couple of lines here. So you could write in 10 or 11 a.m. Um, or you could just write whatever you want on there. Nice little bit of space here and also the little calendar there in the bottom right hand corner. And then there's a little space for to-do list. So this is something I was thinking would work really well as a kind of work type planner. And then here we've got the weekend, which is just Saturday and Sunday on the same page. Uh, so bear that in mind, if you're a big weekend planner, you're not going to have as much room. It's going to be more like a to-do list on this particular uh, design of planner. And like I said before, you've got um, your months kind of start... You've got your two pages like this at the back of the planner, which are lined. Then you've got this blank page like this. The start of the month here with all these goals, birthdays, whatever you want to put on there. And then when you flip it over, you are into your monthly view, which looks like this in this particular version of the planner. Let's have a look at some more of the accessories you can get for this planner. So like I said, there's the ruler that automatically comes for free. So let's pop that in here. I quite often will use this to mark where I'm up to in any particular week. So I can easily just flip to the section that I need. Uh, we've got our little pocket there at the back. So let's just stick the perpetual calendar in there. So I also picked up this. So these are the Take Notes College Ruled Productivity Pages. And I will link everything in this video underneath um, in the See More box. So if you do want to order any of these items, it'll be pretty easy. I'll put a link there so that you can 
hopefully go straight to the item and just get whatever it is you want pretty easily. So these are the College Ruled Productivity Pages and these come in a pack of 80. So on the left hand side, just a plain old lined paper. On the right hand side, you've got your lined paper again, but with this space here, and this is your kind of productivity space here for like a to-do to list or what have you. And if you flip over, that's replicated there throughout the whole thing. So for this, I'm gonna put it after my monthly pages. So that fits in quite nicely like that and you just clip it closed and like I said they just repeat over and over again and then right at the very back of this particular pack you've then you've got this little quote here arriving got one goal is the start of another and the last page just looks like that the rest of it there. I also picked up these these are clear page protectors binder insert set of three So you just get three of these, they're just like a kind of plasticky design again with these holes in and again you can put them, it's better to pull from the middle, that's something I've quickly learnt, um, it's better to, you can just put them there and they can actually be used almost as a little bit of a divider to different sections of your planner. So you can see there, you can just about see the little plastic ball it there and then you can kind of pop them in wherever you want and there's three there in the pack um, I also picked up some of these stickers because I thought they were cute the wee heart planning high gloss stickers and they're really quite reflexive um, so I picked those up and they are quite um, see-through as well which is nice some of them let's have a look at them and then I can put them in this little folder okay so hopefully you can see these a little bit better now they are super super reflective Let's just take one off. So they are kind of see-through-ish, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna stick one there on that little corner. Cute. Um, so like I said, this is a little pocket. So I thought that if I was gonna use this for work or something, it'd be handy to have some pockets to kind of put any little bits of paperwork and stuff that I might need in there. So they work really well as a just, almost like a really thick, good quality plastic wallet, you know? So everything's pretty much set up in here. Like I said, I'll play around with having different months and stuff in the planner. Let me just show you exactly the thickness and stuff. So when this is all in, we've got three months and we've got um, our extra 80 pages at the back for writing. And we've obviously got the pockets, the stickers and bits that came with it. Let me just show you. So the binder does not seem to stay closed. It seems to ping itself open and that's with all of the pages packed down so I'm not sure how it would cope if we put all all um, the whole year in it would be like super super packs um, if I were to put the whole year on top of that it's gonna be like crazy crazy full but that's an option if you want to um, carry it around like that but it's ridiculously heavy I've got to say if you want to keep it like I've done to just three months then this is what that looks like you do get a little bit of a bend there um, it's almost a little bit of messing around with it there we go so if I kind of straighten up the middle it looks like that let me just compare it to my whole year life planner it's a bit lighter than my life planner and it's obviously a little bit thinner as well Like I said, this is a 2020 version. I can't wait to see what they come out with for 2021. I do plan to get the new life planner, which launches next week, depending on when you're watching this. Um, so if you wanna see that, definitely hit that subscribe button and check out when that video goes live. I'll be posting that as soon as it arrives in the mail. But hopefully this has given you a little bit of an idea about the binder planner. And if this is something you're considering for the new launch, then hopefully I have assisted a little bit. The great advantage with a planner like this, of course, is that you can really be flexible with your planning. You could just put a couple of weeks in or a month or whatever you want. If you wanna get some extra lined paper and stick them in a particular day or week or month you can do whatever you want if you want to add in a ton of extra stickers you can do that if you want to add in a couple of extra kind of dividers there's all sorts of things you can do 
So I really do like the kind of flexibility of the planning. I love that they've still included the sticker sheets and things like that. So that's nice. And I like that there's lots of different things that you can use to put in here. I also love the fact that you have got that option of um, taking out from your other life planners and they will fit without any additional cutting into your planner because the holes are the same in the paper so i think that's brilliant because i think that's what i'm going to do i think when i've got um the new life planner i'll probably stop using this one and i'll have some extra sheets and stuff so instead of them going to waste i'll put them in here so i can kind of use them for like just scrap or writing or whatever so um yeah i think that's a really kind of great option so I hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing. I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my planner videos. And definitely check out that $10 off link if you're going to get yourself something from the Erin Condren site. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.